Good Saturday, everyone. Our USA mortgage level of concern is down to level one. So we're trending in a good direction with our concerns because we started out at three for Thursday night into Friday, and then we, we were down to two for yesterday, at, by, by yesterday afternoon and evening, and then now we're down to one. I'm just looking out for some rain and some gusty winds, wet roads, um, gusty winds that could cause a sporadic power outages, so that, that chance is not as great today as it was yesterday. And it's kind of a Seattle-type situation where it drizzles and sprinkles and mists in a shower all day long, but at the end of the day, it just really doesn't add up to a whole lot. But, man, it's a good soaking um, precipitation event. This whole event has been a wonderful soaking rain, and we've been so fortunate. I've gotten nearly five inches of rain um, here at home, but it's all been so gradual and so soaking that uh, we've not had any flooding issues. So, uh, or at least not that um, I'm aware of. There might have been some minor issues here and there, but... Um, we, we have really escaped this storm on a positive note for our neck of the woods, especially when we're compared to our neighbors to the east um, who have had a tremendously difficult time um, dealing with the remnants of Helene. And just a few tens of miles would have made all the difference that we would have been in some pretty dire situations. So we can, um, we can be thankful that it stayed just to the east of us, but we certainly need to keep those who were impacted the heaviest in our thoughts and in our prayers and um, and hope that everyone can continue to stay safe. The danger has not passed for those folks, so uh, we still need to keep them very close to our hearts. Premier Generators brings us our threat graphic, and I'm sure Premier Generators is um, happy to sponsor a graphic that reads widespread severe weather not expected, um, especially after the threats that we've that we've been concerned about over the last couple of days. Um, we can take a little bit a little bit of a breather and say. Okay, don't have to worry about anything severe um, from tent from Saturday through at least Wednesday. Clearview Closet and Blind brings us our five-day forecast, and as we've said all along, today's wet and windy. Um, highs in the mid-60s, so that's going to be comfortable. And, um, same for tomorrow, except not any wind. Um, might be a little bit of breeze now and again, but uh, but showers around. More showers on Monday, but we're dropping down to 70%, and then on Tuesday we're dropping down to 50%. And um, and I will say those rain chances for Monday and Tuesday are, continue to be my my least. A certain part of the five-day forecast. Those could come down a little bit. I'll keep an eye on that for you. Wednesday's looking partly cloudy, highs in the low 70s. So nothing too hot, nothing too cold, and um, nothing too wet, and nothing too dry. So not not a bad uh, five-day forecast uh, for this time of the year, uh, with the exception of today, if you're trying to have an outdoor event. Um, that can certainly be um, disappointing. But um, but we uh, we certainly needed the rain. We just uh, and we can't. Tell it when to fall at our convenience. So that is just that's just the way nature goes. Um, on this day in history, 1929, a hurricane spawned tornado hit Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and the path length was only 0.8 miles, but caused 16 injuries. So, it's, you know, 0.8 miles out in the middle of you know Nebraska might not have done anything, but in the middle of Fort Lauderdale, whole different story. 2008, SpaceX successfully launched. Falcon 1 becoming the first privately owned company to send a liquid fueled rocket into orbit. And SpaceX has been doing amazing things ever since. You folks have a wonderful Saturday and keep looking up. For more weather information, meteorologistmark.com.